we are on. Welcome to Coffee Chats Podcast. So Tom has been persuading me for a while to get a podcast and then he agreed to do one with me. <laughs> so now we have our Coffee Chats Podcast. So we decided to do a podcast that's based on business stuff because we both have our own businesses and we're going to talk about our relationships and like stuff on how we like to improve it what we talk about so lots of mind stuff although tom has a podcast about mine <laughs> but we'll, we talk about that too so from both of our perspective and just lifestyle we both like love health and fitness and wellness and the holistic way of life so we're gonna chat all about that too yeah, it really came about, I suppose, because we were, um, well, we love our coffee. Siobhan got me onto the coffee. And um, and then we just found that, obviously, with a bit of stimulation, you just got, you get just into, involved in these incredible conversations. Well, maybe that's just, just us, though. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, I think people do, though. Yeah, sure. I think people get, in, I don't know, I don't know. But we certainly did. We enjoyed our chats, and we thought it'd be really cool to record them and make a little fun show out of it. You know, yeah. it's not necessarily just about the mind, even though you and I are obsessed with the mind, with mm-hmm. the shared and the counselling. Yeah. Um, it's like lifestyle and relationships. We love talking about relationships the yeah. most, I think. We love how we can make it better yeah. and how we can um, just improve in all facets of life. And obviously, in this social dynamic, we want to improve a lot. <laughs> My family's That was family. yours? I thought that was Abby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. But this, I suppose, this is the first episode. Mm-hmm. Um all these podcast episodes, we thought we'd cap it at around 15 minutes. Yeah. Roughly the time it takes to drink a coffee. Yeah. Even though for Siobhan, they should probably be four hours. Yeah, I know. I like to nurse it. You do like to nurse it. Um, so, yeah, this is this is episode one. And I guess it's a little bit about um, what you guys can expect from the show. Mm. Um, and um, a little bit of an insight into perhaps who we are. Um, the businesses that are that are right behind us that we're both very proud of mm-hmm. and um, and what you can expect. Yeah, definitely. And it was just meant to be the two of us, but Abby has decided to jump she on has. board. She certainly She has. never leaves us, so we kind of hope that she'll, uh, she'll stay for every episode too because that'll be fun as well. I know. She's very good. She's She behaves very well. <laughs> she just loves to be touched. Yes. She's she will much. be in our podcast. She will, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Vaughn, let's, um, let's, I guess, get into the background of it. Um, so, maybe do you want to start with telling everyone about a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the shed? Yeah. So, well, the reason I think this podcast will be good, especially for me, is because um, with the Breathwork Shed, obviously, most people have no friggin' idea what Breathwork is. So, yeah. I definitely want to do, like, questions and stuff on my social media and then answer them in this podcast. I really want to use this time for that and what Breathwork is. But, yeah, the Shed's been open for four months now, my little baby, and I'm bloody obsessed with it and the people that are coming in there. Um, so, I definitely want to talk about, like, the business side of that because it's totally new to me and I know there's people that ask me, like, how I did it, like... Yeah, what my inspiration was to do it, how I found it. Um, And most people that come there are just like, how did you get this space? Because it's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, and that's it. Just talking about breath work, what it is, and yeah. And you got a bit of an interesting accent there. Am I Scottish accent? You are from Scotland. Yeah. Well, that's just going to make the podcast more interesting. Yes, very true. (laughs) And if you don't understand me, tough. (laughs) <laughs> yes, exactly. No, for sure. And um, I think breathwork is really interesting. It's so um, it's so new. It's very old, obviously, but it's very new mm. to the Western world. And well, it's, it's new to, like, Australia, mm. put it that way. Yeah, yeah. It's been around in America for a while, hasn't it? Yeah, for ages. Mm-hmm. And people are just, like, loving it. And obviously, as people can see from the results that they're getting in Australia, it's, uh, yeah, people are loving it here too now, so it's cool. Yeah, it's quite incredible. It's quite incredible. Um yeah, and I suppose for me, I'm very interested in psychology, um, have been for a very long time. Why? Uh, well, <laughs> I was interested... Short story, short story. Yes, of course. <laughs> I was interested in psychology. For, I've been interested in psychology my whole life, but it wasn't really until I went through my own mental health issues that I started to become more and more ironically fascinated with it. You know, like I was struggling, but at the same time fascinated with how I was struggling. I was like, how did, how have these thought patterns and feelings manifested themselves like where did that come from so it just became this process of me reading and reading and reading and and writing to to understand myself 
and I understand the mind a little better. It became um, a deep fascination with counselling and then wanting to help people throughout the process of um, helping myself. So obviously there's a lot of anecdotal help there, but then reading the books and what psychology and other psychologists have said as well is one of the reasons why I think you and I get along so well because mm. we're both fascinated with the mind. Yeah, you know, and we both. have we have conversations every time we have coffee and we're like, fuck, this would be so epic on a podcast. I know. So that's like the goal of it is our, well, we think they're mm. interesting conversations is to put them in a podcast so other people might like them too. Yeah, and just thinking about it right then, I believe the reason that we would think it would be beneficial to people is because when you and I talk, we don't talk necessarily at each other or this is what happened and this is what happened. We talk as a way to try to figure things out for ourselves. Mm. So like I say, I will say something that I've read or you're reading The Body Keeps the Score at the moment. Love it. Yeah. Love it. And you'll say something and then that will make me think of something else. And it's just this incredible, we think obviously because we're biased, (laughs) but it's this incredible dynamic of trying to figure things out together. We come Mm. to these conclusions that seem to make um, sense with regard to psychology and stuff. So we, we love the idea of exploring that on the show and, um, you know, connecting the dots, so to speak, with you guys. Yeah, well, I'm all about, like, the reason I did breath work is to try and understand myself and try and make myself a better human every single day. And that's always the goal and how I can be better in, like, my relationship, with my business, with work, with people around me. Um, so when we have these conversations, it's always like, how can we be better? How can we be better? And that probably should be the name of the podcast. How can we be better? <laughs> how can we be better humans? Yeah. And I think that will always be the discussion to share and hopefully someone gets something out of it, I guess. Mm. yeah. And the conversations that we have at The Shed as well, I definitely want to make them like the kind of end of week thing on the discussions we have because they're so amazing. Mm. Like with our little community that we've got just now, um, just like the weekly discussions at the shed, which is, um, yeah, definitely want to share them as well. That's the best thing about discussions is that they're essentially thinking verbally. You yeah. know, we, we have these incredible thoughts that come through our minds, you know, 50,000 apparently thoughts a day, you know, mm. and they're all just these ideas of what could happen and how that projected world would manifest if you were to live it. And then... We discuss things together and we discuss things at the shed after people have had these incredible self-awareness, you know, experiences. And discussion is a way for us to learn more about ourselves and the world. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why, you know, long-form discussion, podcasts, YouTube videos, things like that have become so, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Big, powerful in this day and age because we're all... We all have our own subjective take on the world and we can all learn from that. Yeah, absolutely. And you can all share ideas, I guess, as well. And like Mm. you, especially with the men that you specialize in, like relationships is a huge thing that you guys talk about. Mm, Massive. Yeah. So it's good to like discuss that as well with everyone else and get everyone else's ideas. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Do, Do girls not talk about that too much? Uh, I don't know. Like what I hear from you is I feel like guys are... Like, how do, how do I get the girl and what do I do? And they think it's like one way and I'm like, oh, I feel like it's the other way. So, no. nah, I don't know. I think... Well, I was um, lost for years. Yeah, true. When I first met you, I was like, how the fuck do I get this one? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah. Just throwing the fishing rod in there and hoping for the best. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. I think, I think personally, a lot of my counseling comes down to finding an authentic lane that makes sense to you and that you really like living. And, and I think this is gender neutral as well. Like if, But it just seems to me at least in my own little ignorant world, that we as men are kind of struggling with that a little bit more in this day and age. Um, So we start to pedestal girls, you know, and this is obviously just heterosexuality and whatever, homosexuality as well, potentially. Mm. Um, But um, I think, you know, if you can find your own authentic lane and that lane really means something to you, people that are going to help you live that life and people that are going to hinder that... uh, are going to be the way that you're able to tell as to who you might find attractive and, and who is to, you know, you should leave for, for someone else. Yeah, mm. I agree. So what's like the biggest thing that you're excited about for this show? Um, I think probably, obviously for me, talking about breath work and the breakthroughs that people have and like our weekly discussions at the share because I just find them fascinating. I'm always like, oh, I wish everyone else would know about this and what's going on. So I feel like that and probably... um. 
yeah relationships because when I speak to people about relationships I'm like oh like I have like a totally different point of view and I've learned so much through previous relationships and like our relationships so yeah definitely those two what about you well I think for me I am pumped up to spend more time with you because I love spending time with you (laughs) And just, just, I'm just interested in to seeing where it takes us. Like, yeah. I don't know where it's going to take us, you know. And um, a lot of it's going to be around social engagement with questions that people have and things. Yeah, but definitely. just how we can learn, yeah. you know, because obviously we're going to learn more about each other through the show. And we're going to learn a, bo- a lot more about, um, about the world, too. Yeah. So it's going to be really fun. I'm excited! Guys, that's a little brief introduction. Yeah. And- I suppose we'll see you next week or yeah, the next couple of days. Definitely. And any like questions you guys have or if you want us to discuss something, like please feel free to like reach out. Um yeah. Exciting. And subscribe to it. Like how do people do what are they? Uh they would well you can subscribe you can subscribe on in any way, shape, or form. So we're gonna put it on my YouTube, is that yeah, right? we'll be on YouTube, um, we'll be on any hosting platform, all yeah. hosting platforms, cool. iTunes, Spotify. Uh, God, there's about. I'm not the or podcast person, so Tom. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. But if you if you really find value from this show, and we hope you do, if mm-hmm. not, let us know, and we want to build it for you. Um, but if you do, and you can subscribe on any podcast um, audio platform that works for you, and hopefully we'll be in your ears twice a week. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>